As a smart contract auditor, you can earn hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. It's the elite of smart contract developers. Can you become a smart contract auditor if you are a blockchain developer or even if you are a total beginner? Yes, it's possible and that's what I will explain in this video. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. Before we dive into smart contract audits, let's backtrack a little bit and understand why we need smart contract audits. If you follow the news on crypto, you know that each week we have at least a new hack of smart contracts. In 2020, it's estimated that $100 million was stolen in smart contract hacks. And it's going to be even worse in 2021. But why this is the case? Can developers write code that is bug free? Everybody makes mistakes, even the best. It's actually very common for a developer to make a mistake and when that happens, the developer can correct it later with a bug fix. If you use any software, you often have new version releases with patches to add new features and also fix bugs. But for smart contracts on the blockchain, it's not possible. One of the main features of a smart contract is that its code is immutable. After you deploy your smart contract, you cannot change its code anymore. There are some ways to update a smart contract, but you always have to use some workarounds and you can never change the fact that technically the code deployed at a specific address can never be changed. On top of it, in smart contracts, contrary to most other software, we manipulate money. That means if we make a mistake, not only we cannot fix the mistake, but this mistake will potentially allow a hacker to steal money. It's really, really bad. That's why before we deploy a smart contract, we need to be absolutely sure that there are no bugs in the smart contract. One way to do it is to write tests for your smart contract, but that's not enough. We also need to have other developers who go over the code and try to find security vulnerabilities. That's what we do in a smart contract audit. Before you can become a smart contract auditor, there is a lot of knowledge that you need to learn that is not related to smart contract audits. Don't try to take a shortcut and directly go for smart contract audit if you are a total beginner, it's not going to work. You need to start from the beginning. There are four steps to become a smart contract auditor. So let's assume that you are a total beginner. The first step is to learn web development. You need to be able to build simple web applications. I'm talking of HTML, CSS and React. You can focus mostly on the front end, no need for much knowledge in the back end except how to use Node.js to install code dependencies. The next step is to learn blockchain development. Blockchain is built on top of the web so everything you have learned before will be very useful. When you start to learn blockchain development, you will soon realize that there are a ton of different blockchains. But you don't need to waste your time with all of them. There is one blockchain that matters much more than all the other. It's Ethereum. And don't get me started with all the little wars between the different cryptocurrency. You have the ETH maximalist, the Bitcoin maximalist, the Binance Smart Chain maximalist. We don't care about this. What we care about is the technology. Most of the smart contracts are written in Solidity, which compiles into EVM bytecode. Most of the smart contract audits are done for Ethereum smart contract. One caveat is that you need to separate Ethereum the technology from Ethereum the blockchain network. Although most of the smart contracts are written for the Ethereum blockchain, we also have many other blockchains with smart contracts like Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and most of these blockchains are based on the technology of Ethereum. We said that they are EVM compatible. It means that all the learning you do for Ethereum can also be used for these other blockchains which means you will be able to do smart contract audits for these blockchains as well. That's very important to understand. The next step is to learn about the common security vulnerabilities in Solidity smart contract. There are some patterns that you must absolutely avoid when you write a smart contract. For example, there is a re-entrancy vulnerability that was discovered first during the DAO hack in 2016. There is also underflow and overflow as well as many other. There is a website that is very used in the industry and lists the most common security vulnerabilities. Once you know all these patterns, it's going to help you to write safe smart contract and it's also going to be useful when it comes to finding vulnerabilities in other people's smart contract. The last step is to learn how to do a smart contract audit. The two main goals of a smart contract audit is to find if there are any security vulnerabilities and to make sure that the smart contract has the behavior intended in a specification. The main deliverable of a smart contract audit is a report that explains your findings. 
When you do a smart contract audit, the mindset is different compared to when you write your own smart contract. When you write your own smart contract, you are acting defensively. You try to write code that cannot be hacked. But when you do a smart contract audit, you put yourself in the shoes of an attacker. You are the attacker this time and you try to find vulnerabilities in the smart contract of somebody else. For this, you will use your knowledge of the common security vulnerabilities in Solidity. You will also use automated tools that find vulnerabilities for you, but usually these tools aren't smart enough to cover everything and can only find the most obvious vulnerabilities. Another thing that will help you a lot is your knowledge of other smart contract hacks. In general, these hacks involve complex interaction between several smart contracts. As a smart contract auditor, you need to know some of the most famous attacks that happen and understand what happened exactly. As I mentioned before, you need to deliver a report at the end of your smart contract audit. In order to know how to format this document, the best thing is to read smart contract audits that were already done by professional smart contract auditors. Smart contract audits are public documents and you can find them easily either by googling the name of a specific audit or by going to the website of security companies in the blockchain space. The next step is to find your first job as a smart contract auditor. There are two types of companies that do security audits. There are companies that only do smart contract audits like Quantstamp or Trails of Bit, and there are companies that do many things, including smart contract audits like Open Zeppelin and Consensus. These companies usually charge several hundred of thousands of dollars for a single audit, and in general, a blockchain company orders two audits from two different companies at least. Because these security companies made so much money, they can't afford to pay their smart contract auditors really well. The downside is that it's quite competitive to get a job at one of these companies and there aren't as many jobs as for standard smart contract developers. If you already have some experience as a smart contract auditor, you can apply to these companies. Otherwise, I would recommend to try freelancing first. As I said before, the top smart contract auditing companies are very expensive and not all projects can afford that. These companies will be happy to save some money by hiring a freelancer instead. To find freelancing opportunities for smart contract auditing, you can check out crypto job boards like Crypto Job List. You can also reach out directly to some project to offer your services, or you can hang out on Twitter and try to connect to builders in the crypto space. For your very first smart contract audits, you can even volunteer to do some smart contract audits for free. There are plenty of projects that are just getting started, maybe they are still very informal and they will be very happy to have your services for free. The last thing you can do to get noticed is to create a blog or a newsletter where you explain the latest smart contract hacks and share this on Twitter. This will definitely get people's attention. Now you know the step to become a smart contract auditor. There are four steps. Step one, learn web development. Step two, learn blockchain development. Step three, learn the common security vulnerabilities in Solidity. Step four, learn how to do smart contract audit. For step one and two, you can check out my course Six Figure Blockchain Developer. For step three, you can check out the training on smart contract security of Suhail Sassi. Suhail is a senior smart contract auditor who has audited many smart contracts. Before specializing in blockchain, Suhail was already working in the cybersecurity industry. For step four, which is learning to do smart contract audits, next week Suhail is going to do another live training on this topic. If you want to book your seat for this training, I also put the link in the description. Even if you see the video after the live training of Suhail, you can still take it because there will be a recording. That's it for this video. Have a great day. Bye bye.